Hey guys, welcome back. Guess what? It's almost Halloween and it's been a while since we checked out the Halloween candies in our neighborhood. So we found these at our local 7-Eleven and I think this is the first time I've seen Halloween candy at 7-Eleven. We checked out Family Mart and uh, Lawson convenience mm -hmm. store but there was none. And so 7-Eleven was the only convenience store pushing these products. But uh, I did find a couple of them kind of interesting. So I thought, why not share these with you guys? In my memories, mm. the most of Japanese Halloween candies are just packaged. Yes, exactly. Just the packaging and the inside is the same. So you have like Halloween Kit Kat, but the Kit Kat themselves are normal. And so, you know, we never really did them. But this year, 7-Eleven came up with some interesting things. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, there is one item, I'm not sure if this was really made for Halloween, but you know, it's the color black. Like, a lot of these are colored black. Yeah, and this one is a cat. It's a cat. So, so we have a mix of sweets and we got savory. Okay. So I think we should start with savory. The two savory things that we have. Scary. Well, this one looks okay. It doesn't look that scary. This one looks scary. Look, check it out. It's called a death mix. Anyway, we're gonna save that for the second one. We're gonna do this one. These are potato chips. And this Black. is called what? Akumateki. 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 So the Kuro evil wasabi. black wasabi beef potato chips. Akumateki. Oh, Akumateki. goodness. Okay. I have a feeling this is gonna taste good. What's up, neighbor? Wasabi is a meat? Yeah, like uh, wasabi beef. Oh, it's a spice and beef. That's what it says. Wow! Ew. <laughs> <laughs> they look like dirty potato chips. It's like look a, at that. Dirty, dirty. It's like a, the potato chips put in the coal. Coal. Okay. So anyway, let's give these a try. They don't smell bad. I think just they just look terrible. Itadakimasu. Oh, it's here. It's not was wasabi wasabi. It's, but I taste the wasabi. It's a hint. Of mm, it's wasabi. a hint of wasabi. I thought mm -hmm. it was gonna be like stronger, like you know, more in your face. But there's a slight kick from the wasabi. Mm. Mm. Beef. I guess it's kind of like barbecue flavor. It's beef. Yeah, roast beef flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm. It's not bad. Not evil. Mm. It's not evil. I was thinking, what is so evil about this except for the color? And plus, I mean, who says black is evil? I mean, look, look at me. I'm wearing black today. You are evil. So this is the one that's a little bit scary, but I still think it wouldn't be too bad. This is called the Death Mix, and you can find this at not all 7-Elevens. We went to two, and only one of them had this Death Mix. I've never seen this before. It says, no death, no life. Five. <laughs> five. Ah, I see. You know what it is? They've added five elements to this. So garlic, curry powder, habanero, ichimi togarashi, which is a Japanese chili pepper, and layu. Layu, which is another chili oil. That's chili oil. So I, that actually sounds delicious to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. death mix. Mm, I don't know about that. We'll see. Oh, it smells good. Wow. Right? Wow. It smells pretty good, huh? Mm, appetizing, appetizing Ooh. death. Are, are, are these potato chips? What are these? They oh. don't look like regular potato chips. It's mashed potato. Made with mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. hmm. But still irregularly shaped, not like Pringles. Mm. 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 Maybe. Mm. Crunchy. Ah, kara. It is spicy, but it's not. Oh, okay. It is pretty spicy. <laughs> oh, Jack o' Lantern. Oh no, died. Jack o' Lantern. <laughs> oh, it's spicy. <laughs> Jack o' Lantern died. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, uh, it's just habanero. So I mean, I I, I didn't expect. Oh, oh. caray, caray yo. Jack o' Lantern. Oh mm. no. <laughs> See, we got the cheap Jack o' Lantern. It's like three dollars. <laughs> Four kids. Mm. This is maybe too spicy. Hmm. But you know what? I don't hate it. Me too. 
Yeah, mm. it's actually quite tasty because of the garlic and the chili mm. oil. Mm. So it's super flavorful mm. and I like how crunchy they are and maybe it's a little bit spicy but I think they will go perfect with beer. Oh! Oh! Yum! Oh! These are good! Oh! Get these if you like spicy food. Mmm! <laughs> oh! Mm. We have full sweets for sweets i'm okay do you guys notice like i'm like uh stronger now with spice i don't know it kind of reversed probably because i've been going to singapore so often this one oh god no ten shigeki ke because means brain 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 simulation. Brain simulation. Stimulation. Stimulation. Okay, so we're gonna try the brain Ugh. stimulation candy. Okay. And there are two different types of flavors in here. There is a cola and there is a ginger ale flavor and they are different in intensity. That's what it says in there. It's a little warning sign. What do they look like? What? Ah, okay. The so shape is the the shape is funny. The shape is funny? Yeah. What's the shape? I don't know, like, like looks like it's intestines. Like intestines. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Oh, okay. So those are the purple intestine. This one looks kind of like an apple, but then kind of intestine-y as well. Oh, it's apple. Right? Really? Oh. Okay, so let's try the yellow one first. Because they're one. different. This is supposed to be like um ginger ale. Ginger ale? Yeah, I wonder why there's a um, warning sign though. <laughs> why is there a warning sign? Look at that. Shigeki ni chui. Okay, like, keep away from small kids. That's what it says. <laughs> eh? Why? Okay. It doesn't taste particularly good. It tastes like toiletries. I what? It's ginger ale. Mmm. Oh. Gingerly. Uh, what, what happened? After that this mix, yeah. this one is not so strong, but it's a different direction. It has mm. different direction. No. This one has gingerly. Very gingerly. Okay, really? I don't even notice. It's like, it just tastes like regular candy, but doesn't taste particularly good. It tastes like toilet. Maybe like you toilet freshener. Maybe your tongue is destroyed. Maybe. Purple? I, I, this one is cola. Cola. Hmm. Hmm. I'm very confused. I mean, what makes these so special? Like, that they need a warning sign. I... No. How many can you eat? Okay. <laughs> Here, have another ginger ale. I wonder if it gets stronger as you eat it. But it's coming to my brain. How, what, what, what came to your brain? It's like an electric. electric. Really? Mm. What? Bilibilito. This part can be stimulated. Really? Okay. It's not affecting me at all whatsoever. Okay. Next one is Kroneko Gumi. Beyond. Okay. It's a cat and it's gummy. Right. It's a great flavor. Black cat gummy candy. But it's interesting. It's midnight grape flavor. Midnight grape. Oh, that's interesting. Midnight grape sounds sexy. What in the world does that mean? They're huge. Oh my God. Well, is this just one? Or? No, no, oh no, no, there's more. Like this. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, that's a cat. It's almost like a tongue. It, it, it looks more like a cat tongue to me. Oh my god. Look yeah. at that. Nobiru. Nobiru. Oh, okay. oh, it's stretchy, stretchy. Oh. oh. <laughs> it's quite tasty. Hmm. It is like grape soda. The great Fanta. Hmm. I can see how this would appeal to kids. No, very imitation-y. 
<laughs> Bye, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this can be fun and amusing for kids. I can see that. What do you think of the taste? Mm. Mm. It's good for midnight because it's not super sweet. Okay, but I don't think it's meant to be eaten at midnight. I think that's just the name of the, the grape flavor. It's not like you're supposed to eat it Why it gets at called midnight? Go midnight? Because it's Halloween. It's just to, I guess, and the make color. it sound more interesting than just purple. Yeah, this purple color is dark. That's midnight grape. That's the color of the, 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 the color. <laughs> that's the name of the color. This year, at 7-Eleven, they have this eyeball. Yeah, this is so unique because here in Japan, usually, you know, they don't make creepy mm. stuff. Mm -hmm. This one is Halloween Medama Stick Chocolate, and they have three colors, mm -hmm. RGB. That's true. Red, green, blue. That is true. Mm. And we bought the red one. Voila! That's the eyeball candy. Mm -hmm. How the flavor is. Very nicely designed. Yeah, nicely say. designed. Mm. Hey, that was all. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. Can I do that? Mm. Mm. Me. Mm. Left. Yeah, eye right. test. Right. Eye exam. Wow. Okay. Hey, that was all. Mm. Just mm. regular mm. milk chocolate <laughs> and white chocolate. <laughs> Regular chocolate, regular milk chocolate, and white chocolate. Mm. <laughs> mm. No, very Halloween though. Very Halloween. You know, Halloween, at least in the US, is mostly about chocolates anyway. Oh, really? Yeah. Mostly about chocolates. Why? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. They, they, had, they had candy too, I guess. Right? Candy corn. Oh, really? Yeah, but I remember mostly chocolate. Yeah, hey, I did not know that. Yeah. By the way, guys, here in Japan, they do not celebrate Halloween. I noticed that this year, or it's, I don't know, it, it seems like there's less and less Halloween candy being sold. That's true. You notice that, true. right? Mm -hmm. It's less and less of it. Yeah. So if you want to celebrate Halloween here in, in Japan, I think the best place to go are the Tokyo Disney Resorts and Universal Studios. That's true. Yeah. All right, the last, the last one we one. have. This one is pretty interesting. It's Kitty Jam. Yeah. Hello Kitty. Sanrio characters chocolate. Halloween version. Yeah. So you have five different chocolates on sticks, mm -hmm. and these are Sanrio characters. Recently, we went to Hello Kitty attraction. That's named true. Hello Kitty smile. Yeah, located on Miyajima Island. No, and... Awaji Island. Oh, Awaji. <laughs> That's right. What am I saying? Awaji Island. Uh, you know, I, it was my first time there, so that's my excuse. But um, yeah, it, it was a lot of fun, and we did a lot of things there. Actually, we made four videos there, so stay tuned for those videos coming up. Uh, we went to the Hello Kitty attraction, which was actually surprisingly interesting and fun. And what else did we do? Oh, we did Godzilla thingy. We did Crayon Shincha. We stayed at a luxury hotel, but anime themed. And one more thing. Anyway, stay tuned for this video. So it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. This is cute. Wow, they made well. This is very good for children. Yes, so these are the five characters. Oh, so, um, okay. I only know the name to this. This is Hello Kitty. <laughs> um, I know Dear Daniel, but I, oh, okay. I think this one is like something pudding, like pom pom pudding or something like that. Uh, we only know Kitty Chan. All right, no, and then this one is pudding. I'm sure this is pudding, right? Let us know, guys, in the comments if you know the names of these characters. That's a dog. That's a. I don't know what that is. I think that's Hello Kitty's friend. Okay, so which one would you like? Yeah, we want to keep Kitty Chan. Keep? Why? For who? It's so too cute to eat. So what are you gonna keep it for? Until Halloween day. Until Halloween day? And then we're gonna eat it on Halloween? Are you nuts? Okay, so I guess I'll open the dog. So, th so these Sanrio character chocolates are made by Fujiya 
Kujia are, is a famous confectioner maker. Long history, really. And they make cakes. Hi, so I got the doggy. You got the pudding chan. Mmm. 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 Little bit it's flavored. No, I think it's just chocolate. Really? I think it's cheap chocolate. That's what it is. We haven't had cheap chocolate in a long time. Like this reminds me of chocolate from when I was a kid. You know, nothing fancy, you know, not the best quality chocolate. It's good. I mean, as a kid, I, I used to love this taste. What? Give me. Okay. It's the same, I think. Mmm. It's milk chocolate and then there's white chocolate on the top. It's different. It's the same. It's exactly the same. Mm. This one is a little bit yellow. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it's same. It's the same. <laughs> yeah. Once again, though, I think they are a great for kids. Yes. Right. I mean, I mean, you don't want to give like the best quality high-end chocolate to kids. You know, most likely they're not gonna appreciate it. Might be too bitter for them. Anyway, yeah, very very nostalgic for me. And this is very really fun for kids. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh well, if you are in Japan and you go back to your home by the Halloween day, mm. how about buying these snacks? Mm. By the way, we were not sponsored by 7-Eleven <laughs> or Sandio or Fujia. Just putting it out there because it does sound like. We are selling mm. these, we're not. <laughs> if you want these snacks, mm. please visit 7-Eleven. Yeah, I think it will be a lot of fun. Well, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this one as always. Please smash the like button and subscribe for more videos like this one. Stay tuned for the next video coming up real soon. Bye everybody. Bye. Bye.